A uh, hundred different words for love is about jam. Uh, no, obviously it is about love in all its many guises, all its many painful and beautiful and horrible and wonderful forms between friends, between families, and especially between partners and lovers. The reason why I wanted to make the show was we're surrounded all the time by books, by films, TV shows, telling stories about love, and very few of them bore any real relationship to the things that I've seen, my experiences of love, the experiences of my friends. And so I wanted to make a show that while it obviously does tip a cap to the art that has come before, um, I, I wanted to make something that felt real, that felt genuine and felt like it wasn't sugarcoating the painful experience that love is at the same time as it is the best thing ever. I'm really excited about going on tour with 100 Different Words for Love because I, well, I took my first show out, Team Viking, last year, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had, uh, meeting people all around the country, performing in different venues, um, and really, actually, just meeting people and being able to share the stories with them and then also hear them share their stories with me. It's great. Oh, who's this? Someone from my past. It's nice to see you too. Yes, a drink sometime would be nice. Too nice, it's no kiss still, I will take it. Uh, so she's waited for 40 minutes, I should definitely wait 40 seconds. I was like, I'm free tomorrow night, would you like a drink tomorrow night? How about tomorrow night, which I think we can all agree is a text that only Macbeth would send. <laughs> she let go of me and I drifted up, up, up above myself, looking down at this stranger, James, carrying on.